particular welcome to uh, State Secretary Istok Mirosik, uh, who has come to us uh, from Slovenia, uh, the State Secretary of the Slovenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And he's going to talk to us about uh, a Slovenian perspective on the challenges for the future uh, of the EU 27. Um, State Secretary has had a very long and distinguished career uh, in the Foreign uh, Service and in foreign affairs in general. Uh, he has been involved in uh, Prime Minister's Office, Ministers of State Office and uh, se has been Secretary of State uh, since uh, early 2017. Uh, immediately prior to this, um, he was Ambassador in Libya and Tunisia, uh, also to Italy and Malta and to the United Kingdom. Uh, from 2004 to 2007. Uh, we look forward to hearing about the Slovenian perspective because I think we are all uh, looking uh, at the future of the EU27. And even before the, the um, situation uh, with the Brexit vote, uh, I think heads of state and government uh, were uh, uh, of the view that the EU needed a renewal and uh, um, a more of a dialogue uh, with citizens. And of course, since the Brexit vote, uh, that has concentrated our minds and there is talk more and more of the EU 27. The, uh, your Prime Minister who said, uh, this would be the year of truth for the bloc. And I think that has been the case. And there's been quite a lot of thought given to uh, the future of the EU 27. We've had uh, the uh, State of the Union message from President Juncker. We've had um, President Macron with his ideas. We've had President Tusk uh, with his leader's agenda. All of these are um, putting out the challenges that the EU 27 is going to have uh, in dealing with, with the future uh, uh, as it as it will be after the British leave, but also the future as we want to shape it for, for EU citizens. Uh, it's very interesting to see that you have opened, um, uh, uh, the Slovenian government has opened a process of debate and dialogue with the citizens um, uh, on the future of Europe and are holding public discussions because next Wednesday we're going to launch, our Prime Minister, the Taoiseach, is going to launch a similar citizens' dialogue here and uh, we look forward to hearing about that. So, may I give you the floor, State Secretary, and we look forward to hearing the Slovenian perspective on the future. Uh, I have to say it's always uh, good to be back uh, uh, to Ireland and uh, uh, to Dublin. We have a lot of similarities, meaning in the character of uh, uh, people, I can say. We both come from uh, smaller uh, uh, countries, and uh, but we are full of joy, I would say, despite <laughs> yes. the difficult times uh, here. Uh, again, thank you for inviting me here. And uh, I, will, I will start uh, by uh, uh, assessing the situation uh, which we are in right now, uh, or we passed uh, through in the previous uh, years. Uh, that, that situation determined also the current state of play in the European Union uh, uh, itself and the debate on the future of the uh, European Union. So I wouldn't agree with those who said the European Union is uh, constantly in crisis, everything is terrible, it will fall apart. Uh, 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 it will be. A, it is. It is a disaster, and uh, and so on. I think that for Slovenia, European Union did a lot of uh, good things. A lot, really, a lot of good things. Predominantly, if I just may to say, uh, we had, uh, we eased the very difficult historic dialogue with all our neighbors. Uh, you are aware how difficult the history was in that part of uh, the world. And since our membership in the European Union, this dialogue with our neighbors, uh, it became really a sincere one. European Union, I would say, is not, uh, is not uh, in, a, in a crisis. European Union now is growing. And still do not forget, European Union is the largest world economy uh, in the world. Um, this is, this is, this is uh, the, the positive part. But it was influenced in the previous years, of course, by uh, a hard uh, and harsh uh, economic and financial crisis, which did a lot of uh, uh, dividing lines in the European uh, Union itself. Uh, uh, we were uh, faced with the growth of the populism, probably because the middle class in the European Union, in the, in the European countries, was uh, mostly uh, affected by the globalization. We uh, were faced with the growth of populism based on the security situation around the 
uh, in the neighborhood of the European Union, uh, I mean here uh, migration and the management of the migration, we were faced with the security challenges, not just in the neighborhood, but also inside the European Union. I mean here a uh, uh, new phenomena of uh, uh, terrorism. Uh, we had elections in two important countries, France and Germany, and uh, uh, we can see in other countries, despite the more populist uh, leaders uh, didn't win the election, but uh, we see, especially in the Central Europe, also in Germany, movement of the electoral body uh, more to the right and more, and more to the skeptical part of the uh, European uh, Union. Uh, and of course, we were faced with the most uh, uh, evident uh, phenomena which will tackle the future of European Union. And in fact, it triggered the debate of, on the future of European Union. And this is, uh, uh, you know it uh, very well, uh, the decision of uh, UK to abandon uh, membership of the European Union and uh, to leave uh, European Union, I mean here, uh, Brexit. Uh, from all these uh, this, uh, this, uh, um, uh, events and the situations, uh, basically, today we have two division or dividing line in the European Union. So it's a sort of cross, uh, 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 crossroad in the European Union. The dividing line goes from north to south or between north and south, where the countries of north are advocating more austerity, more financial uh, soundness, while on the other side, the southern uh, or Mediterranean countries are more inclined to watch towards uh, 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 mutualization or solidarity, especially in the financial and economic, uh, economic terms. And there is a new division uh, which is based more on values, <coughs> solidarity and burden sharing. This is between uh, Eastern and Western uh, uh, countries. <clears throat> Some of them in the West, in the papers, uh, we can read that uh, because of the comportation of the Central European uh, countries, uh, they think that they are talking or they are, they are writing also about the failed integration uh, into into European Union, which I would not, uh, I wouldn't agree uh, entirely, or I wouldn't agree, uh, wouldn't agree at all. But uh, obviously, we have a sort of mistrust between Eastern and Western countries, uh, and uh, this is a problem that it, it will have to be addressed in the debate of the future of the European Union. The consequence of uh, the events in the European Union I just mentioned was a meeting in Bratislava, you mentioned it, and the declaration of Bratislava, which uh, uh, produced uh, the, uh, the, the thoughts about more uh, efficient European Union, more uh, uh, inclined European Union towards people, and especially to, to the young people. And the confirmation of Bar Bratislava declaration was, at, uh, at least on the declaratory level, uh, uh, within the 60th anniversary of European Union in Rome uh, by Rome Declaration. And, of course, here we are uh, in the debate of the future of the European Union, which already started and it will be intensified probably from uh, Feb January uh, next year uh, after the composition of the new German uh, government and probably uh, uh, on the, on the uh, anniversary of the so-called Elysee Treaty between uh, uh, France and Germany, but I will say uh, later much more about, uh, about this. Uh, we are in the face of the debate of future of European Union, and this debate will be closely connected and also, and also determined by uh, debate on the future uh, European budget, meaning on the future European uh, multi-annual uh, financial uh, framework. This financial fr uh, framework, this European budget, will be severely different, I'm afraid, from the previous ones, not just because one of the largest member countries uh, will, uh, will uh, uh, at least they announced, uh, will go out of the European Union and financial, uh, and financial contributions, but uh, the priorities of the European Union will be completely uh, new, and the priorities uh, will be, if we go uh, in substance, uh, probably uh, the migration, the, the uh, completion of the European Monetary Union, the uh, uh, social Europe, or social pillar of the European Union, um, the security and, and defense, and of course, uh, 
possibly also the democratic, uh, democratic uh, reshaping or strengthening of the uh, European Union. So, <clears throat> based on these obviously new priorities for the European Union, we were faced with uh, several ideas how to shape and how to streamline the debate on the future of Europe. Uh, we, uh, we are already uh, faced with, uh, on the uh, General Affairs Council that I attend uh, uh, it, and uh, still there, there are many uh, different views how to proceed with the, with the debate. Uh, for example, uh, for, the, for the beginning, uh, we have five scenarios uh, produced by the European Commission, and you are all aware of uh, them. Then we have uh, six scenarios uh, produced by the President of the European Commission, and this sixth scenario is basically a call for, uh, to continue in a united uh, manner, to continue uh, uh, with united Europe, stronger and more democratic uh, Europe in the form of uh, 27 uh, countries. Uh, there are some ideas uh, that uh, will, be, will have to be uh, discussed uh, in a very serious uh, manner. For example, a call for a, a, a qualified majority voting uh, in the field of uh, taxation uh, in the internal market and uh, foreign policy. Uh, there are call for uh, democratic conventions picked out from other speech uh, by French president. So there are uh, plenty of ideas how to make this European Union more efficient, more inclined towards, towards the uh, citizens, uh, more uh, 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 oriented towards unity of Eastern and Western uh, countries. And this is uh, basically a call for to continue, as I already said, in a manner of united uh, Europe of 27 member countries. On the other side, we had on a speech of the French president, uh, again, uh, ideas on a vast majority of the areas uh, uh, in the European Union, but basically this speech was oriented towards uh, uh, ability and willing, uh, uh, meaning those who are able and willing can go with, uh, with uh, 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 enforced cooperation on particular areas, which means basically that this idea is devoted more towards the differentiated integration, or some of them they will they will call it Europe of more more uh, speeds. In the core, <clears throat> in the core of this idea, of course, is to strengthen the euro area as a core, uh, which will be uh, which will be the most advanced. And in more details, it is a call for Germany to revamp or to renew a Franco-German motor for the further uh, integration. This is the, 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 the basic uh, idea of the French president. And to preserve the, 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 the uh, unity uh, of, or the inclusiveness of the 27 member countries, the president of the European Council, Tusk, produced the so-called leaders' agenda to streamline the debate in the, in the format of 27 uh, 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 on, on, on different areas how to uh, uh, renew uh, future European uh, European Union. For example, on the European Monetary Union, we have still a basic division line and different views how to continue between North and South. I already mentioned it between solidarity and uh, austerity or mutualization. Uh, there are different ideas how to sh reshape the Eurozone finance minister, parliament, or uh, Eurozone uh, Eurozone uh, 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 role, or the Commission's role and budget role. Of the, of the Eurozone, whether it be separate or inside the European uh, Union uh, 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 budget or frame, uh, <clears throat> how to reshape, uh, uh, how to, uh, to, to revamp the uh, European uh, uh, monetary uh, uh, stability mechanism uh, into some ideas, into European monetary fund. And here, uh, the basic dividing line is still between Germany and, uh, and uh, France. Uh, of course, President Macron made a very interesting idea, and he called uh, to create a united market, German-Franco market, uh, which will be basically a new market inside the single market, if I could understood correctly. Uh, and as far as I know, uh, some, some ideas are already progressing, uh, meaning the harmonization of the uh, fiscal, social, and uh, economic policies. This will be more, much more... Uh, uh, difficult, but on the fiscal part, uh, the talks uh, are progressing uh, uh, towards the harmonization, at least on the 
on the corporate uh, tax, uh, which will be a major step uh, uh, forward. Still, but still, the, the, uh, the, the observation <coughs> how to develop, how to strengthen the Eurozone, basically are still in a, in a, in a very uh, distant, uh, distant uh, position. Uh, the area which is going very uh, much uh, with a higher speed further is uh, the defence. You know that the European Defence Agency is already there, and uh, we are talking now uh, about PESCO, political and security cooperation, which will be triggered this month, and Slovenia, of course, will be part of it. Uh, 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 but this is the area probably that it has a potential. It has a potential uh, to, to 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 go, uh, uh, particularly because of uh, Brexit, uh, strongly, uh, much more strongly uh, forward. The uh, debate uh, that will determine uh, the, 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 the future, the unity of the future European Union, will be much more, was much dependent on debate on migration in the European Union. This here we have, as I mentioned, uh, the, 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 the quite a, quite a visible dividing line between Eastern and Western countries, between solidarity and burden sharing. Uh, the the, the, the the uh, uh, relocation schemes uh, uh, together with the revision of the asylum code uh, will be uh, at stake. And uh, here, maybe in Ireland, you do not feel it because you are not part of a Schengen agreement, but we can feel it severely in Slovenia, is that uh, uh, countries are reintroducing border control on the internal uh, Schengen borders. And this is uh, quite a serious uh, question for the future of the European Union because it might prevent free flow of uh, people uh, and pose obstacles also to uh, free flow of services and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, also capital uh, between the member countries and this will burden the debate on the future of the European Union uh, as well. But nevertheless, probably we will have to re revise uh, the uh, common, uh, common asylum system of the European Union or uh, to create a suitable migration policy of the European Union uh, together with a more focused view on our uh, neighborhood, meaning especially in in uh, Mediterranean uh, eastern part and southern part of the of the uh, Mediterranean. Then the debate uh, <coughs> will be certainly very important uh, about uh, more efficient uh, European Union uh, growth, growth, but together with the growth, uh, also more more uh, on social. A pillar of the European Union because social pillar was uh, kind of uh, uh, neglected in uh, previous years. At least we we feel uh, like this. Um, and uh, the last one is uh, the democratic transition or the democratic uh, uh, strengthening of the European Union. Uh, there is a common idea of President of the Commission and French President to have so-called uh, democratic conventions in the European Union also in light to prepare, let's say, uh, uh, between the Brecons, European, uh, European uh, uh, parties with the uh, real European program from the, for the next uh, uh, European uh, elections. Uh, and here we have the idea of transnational lists, uh, which are supported by bigger countries, uh, but we have to have a very close look and very close debate or about this transnational uh, list, what, the, what they do mean. Uh, because if the system of, uh, let's say, uh, democratic ramp of the uh, European Union will go to system one man, one vote, we, at least Slovenians, who lived in one multinational uh, society uh, already, this means former Yugoslavia, which was not democratic, and this is different from the European Union, but still, uh, the democratic system, one man, one vote in the multinational society can be uh, a very, very dangerous, uh, dangerous uh, one. Uh, of course, all these priorities at the end of the day will lead to the question, shall we change or should we change uh, the uh, uh, treaties or not? And uh, as far as I understood, everybody in the European Union would like to escape the, the treaty changes there because uh, 
uh, to change the treaty, uh, many countries, if not all, uh, need uh, referendums. And uh, these days, with referendums, you never know where you can uh, where you can uh, finish. So the understanding is that uh, probably the referendums, uh, the the uh, treaty changes, are not in the focus line. But still, pr French president. Uh, as far as I understood, uh, he opened the floor also, if needed, for the treaty changes uh, in the in the in the conversations with the rest of the uh, membership of the European uh, Union. Uh, basic question of uh, of uh, this is how to proceed, not just in manner of 27 or differentiated uh, integration, but uh, uh, how we will achieve uh, harmonisation. Uh, 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 in, 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 in the European Union uh, or uh, a convergence in the European Union uh, without emphasis on the cohesion because convergence probably is not possible without the cohesion and if we will have a diminishing uh, uh, side of the future European budget, budget on the cohesion side then the question will be how the unity of the European Union will proceed that's why I said the debate of the future uh, budget will influence also the debate on the uh, future of the uh, European Union and that's why for Slovenia the emphasis is on cohesion if we would like to preserve the unity of the European Union of 27 is, is uh, very, very uh, uh, important. And uh, do not forget on the, on the uh, one of the policies that was neglected in the previous year, unfortunately, I would, have, I would say, and this is the further enlargement uh, policy, which Slovenia is a strong advocate uh, of, uh, I think that uh, European Union should uh, continue and should go on much, with much stronger engagement than it was uh, uh, till nowadays in the Western uh, Balkans, which is the area uh, still very, very fragile uh, from economic but also security uh, points, uh, points of, uh, of view. At the end of the day, uh, the question will be what we will uh, like, what we would, we would like to achieve with this European Union, also on a global level. How strong, political and economic player we would like to be the European Union on the, on a, a global level. And I think here particularly there are different views uh, inside the European Union uh, on the future free trade agreements. Uh, whether should the European Union be a leader in the free trade agreements or not in the world, particularly after the, uh, let's say, uh, uh, a retreat of the United States uh, between the brackets from the from the from the global uh, uh, global uh, trade uh, uh, trade uh, uh, leadership uh, there. Um, for all that kind of things. For the future uh, debate, political elites will need will need uh, public support. Without public support and public support, here I mean the citizens of the European Union countries. Uh, without the public support, there won't be any changes in the European Union. Uh, that's why it's important, and French President uh, uh, correctly uh, correctly observed uh, that we uh, have to engage uh, the in a democratic way, uh, the public opinion across uh, the Euro European Union and in European Union member countries that, uh, that uh, much more uh, uh, focused and uh, sincere dialogue is needed with the citizens of European Union. Uh, we all know, and I, won't, I will not repeat, that uh, probably this decision-making process, uh, and I won't blame just Brussels, it's also the national governments, it's on European matters. It's too distant uh, from the from the uh, uh, our citizens uh, um, there. So that's why we already launched uh, one and a half year ago uh, public debate on uh, several aspects of the uh, European Union policies, future policies, and future of the European Union. We convened uh, uh, five uh, roundtables on, on five priority areas, future priority areas of uh, European Union. Uh, we are uh, one of the rare countries that uh, confirms all the positions that are taken on the level of the European Union before they are taken in the Parliament, in the, in the discussion with the, with the representatives of uh, uh, people. And we further plan uh, now much more focused uh, uh, debate on the future uh, of the European Union on different uh, uh, areas that I mentioned before with uh, interested public uh, uh, experts, universities, 
uh, but predominantly with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, uh, young uh, people. If uh, if I may uh, uh, conclude, uh, uh, where the Slovenia stands regarding all that uh, that uh, uh, um, elements. Uh, that I presented, uh, meaning we are in the beginning of the uh, debate, but still, Slovenia would like to have European Union of 27. We would like to preserve and to continue in a united unity of the uh, 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 European uh, Union. We would like the European Union will be focused on security matters, meaning internal and external security, but on the other side also on economic security, and the security that in Slovenia is very important, uh, the social part of the, of the security. So social security is for Slovenia uh, quite an important, important uh, uh, element. Um, not just growth, but also uh, social uh, issues. Uh, we would like to continue with, uh, with further integration of the European Union. And basically, after the Brexit, the idea of French President Macron is to deepen the integration uh, for beginning with the Franco-German uh, harmonization in that mentioned uh, uh, in the in the in the in the uh, creation of a Franco-German market, which will be the basis uh, uh, for the for and the example for the for the rest of the uh, membership uh, of European uh, Union. Um, in case we won't have that scenario, uh, that we will proceed. Uh, along the ideas uh, of the differentiated integration for multi-speed Europe, then Slovenia thinks that we should, it, this should be based on uh, principles uh, that it remains uh, rooted in the frame of the EU uh, institutions, so EU institutional framework, that it sets a clear path uh, for a further integration of the EU 27, that uh, it does not lead to fragmentation of the European uh, policies and their key, and that this integrated uh, uh, structured uh, uh, cooperation or differenti differentiated integration uh, uh, remains open for all the member countries of the European uh, Union. But at the end, and I will conclude with this, uh, Slovenia's wish in that if this scenario will go on, uh, that we will be part of the most advanced, most integrated, or the core part of the European Union.